What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we are checking out a brand new laptop from the folks over at HP. They were cool enough to sponsor today's video and send us one of their newest HP Dragonfly Pros. So let's quickly unbox it, see what this thing's all about. Got our white box. This right here is the Dragonfly Pro. Looks like we got the black version. We'll get to this in just a second. See what else we get in the box. I mean, this is this is pretty clean packaging. Ooh, a braided USB-C cable, C to C, and our power brick. And that's it. Really minimal packaging. I'm surprised there's no paperwork in here. Who needs paperwork? Yeah, listen, who needs it? Oh, this is a 96 watt charger, Jay. A really nice braided USB-C to C cable. I think it's the, you know, the, the thing, the yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just a brick and a cable. That's the way to do it. All right. Now for the HP Dragonfly Pro. Oh, come on. I'm, I got to do better than that. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no, uh, there's no stopping it. Oh, this, this feels premium. It's got some nice heft to it. It feels solid. And so it's got this really nice aluminum body, some fun facts. Uh, a lot of this is recycled materials. And this is actually part of HP's most sustainable PC portfolio. So really good stuff here. Uh, but let's take a quick look around it. Right side over here, we've got a Thunderbolt 3 port. And on the other side, you've got a Thunderbolt 3 port and a regular USB-C port. And that's it. So really minimal on the ports. Now I'm a little surprised there's no headphone jack, but it does have Bang & Olufsen speakers. All right, let's pop this thing open. Nice to see it work with one finger. And they got some paper on the keyboard. There's an arrow over here. Okay, so this is like the paperwork right here, Jay. Oh. It's like a little quick start guide letting you know different things you need to know. All right, let's power this thing on. Oh, there's a fingerprint reader right here on the side. I heard a little something from the speakers there. That sound, sounds pretty good. That was only one little chime though. What, well, did you feel the bass on? I, I, yeah, I felt something in the bones, Jay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> bones are sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, finish setting this thing up, and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, guys, so we finally got this thing set up, and check it out. So this thing has a nice 14-inch display, 1920 by 1200 resolution. Uh, also 400 nits of brightness, not to mention it's also touchscreen. Now this is a glossy screen. Me personally, I'm a fan of glossy screens. Uh, depending on where you're working, if you've got like a giant window behind you, it might not be ideal, but I feel like glossy screens look really great when it comes to like colors and sharpness. I only use glossy You only use glossy, I'm right? Much I'm completely with you, Jay. I'd probably almost always opt for a glossy screen versus anything else. The screen go down more than No, this is the maximum that it can go. So it's not one of those convertibles. This is what you got. But this is actually, how many degrees is this? I say it's 138. 138? <laughs> no, I just made that up. We'll, we'll do the math and figure it out for you guys. But moving down, we do have our keyboard and our large trackpad. Now we gotta put this thing to the test, see how it feels to actually type on it. <laughs> Uh oh, now I'm looking. Oh man, no, I gotta restart. Hold on. <laughs> I like this keyboard. It's not loud, gives you some nice travel. Not super clicky or anything, but it gives you enough feedback so it feels like you're actually typing. You know, is you still you still hear something, so it feels like I'm getting work done. If you're next to me, if you're next to me, you're like, oh, that guy's working. Yes. <laughs> but he's not being obnoxious about it. I like that. <laughs> and we've got some nice things here as well. We got some media keys at the top. Now it does have these four buttons on the side, which are pretty interesting. So when you press the first one, it opens up the My HP software. And the second and third also open up different pages within this software. So there's support as well as one where you can see all of your devices. Now, some of you might be wondering, why do you need a dedicated support button on the side? Well, this actually comes with one year of 24 seven live support. So if you ever run into any issues with it, you can hit that button and get a technician or someone from HP to help you out with whatever you're dealing with. Uh, but the very bottom button, the fourth option, is programmable. So you can completely customize what happens when you press that button, whether it's open an application or open different files. I do wish though that all of them were programmable because a guy like me might not need support. Uh, so that button being programmable would have been 
kind of nice to have. They made sure that you get support, right? So. <laughs> but overall, I gotta say, keyboard feels really nice, as well as the trackpad. Nice and big, very clicky. I think they're both really solid. So let's check out one of our videos. Let's see how it looks. Hey, you did that. You did fine, man. So the box it comes in is actually crazy tiny with a couple of pictures. These are of good beats. speakers. I've got it at 100% right now and it doesn't sound crazy distorted. They actually sound really good. And these are Bang & Olufsen speakers. So you expect it to have some pretty decent quality, uh, but still you can slap a name on something and still have it not sound great, but these deliver. Let's try to hear some royalty free music real quick. Oh, yeah, I know about Bang & <laughs> the quality, man. Oh no, these are good. So far, this thing checks a lot of boxes in terms of the build quality, the hardware. We're not gonna, we're not gonna harp on the headphone jack. Uh, but this thing does check a lot of the boxes overall for its body. But let's talk about what's inside. Now, inside of this guy, we've got an AMD Ryzen 7 mobile processor, as well as integrated AMD Radeon graphics. And this chip is actually custom tuned for this system, so you can get the, the most performance out of it. You also get 16 gigs of RAM or 32 gigs of RAM, depending on the model you choose. They're pretty much two to choose from. You'll also get 512 or one terabyte, depending on if you go for the cheaper or more expensive one. Now, there's also this black color option here, or a white, depending on what you like. Black looks pretty good. Does it get a lot of like, on it? It's not too bad. Even though like, I got my grubby mitts on them. And that's important if you don't wanna think about cleaning your laptop, you just wanna grab it and go, especially one with this kind of form factor. You wanna be able to grab this one and go. And if you like to make sure it looks clean, I don't think you have to worry too much with this one. Now we gotta do like a front facing camera test, right? Is this fair though, Jay? Like we're in the dark over here. It's all moody in this video. Yeah, we, we don't even do moody, but we're doing moody today. Cinematic. cinematic. We're shooting in 24 FPS? <laughs> we're not that cinematic. But we do have a five megapixel webcam. Let's go ahead and check that out. But what you're seeing right here is the image quality as well as the audio quality from the built-in webcam and the built-in microphones on the HP Dragonfly Pro. I'm not gonna lie, it does do a pretty good job lighting up this really dark room. Now let's talk about the battery life. So this thing is supposed to give you 15 hours of battery life, and I think it's 12 hours if you're doing like video streaming. But if you drain your battery, you should be able to get this up to 50% in just 30 minutes. So you got that fast charging built into it, which I'm a fan of. All right, so now that we know what we know about the Dragonfly Pro, who's supposed to buy this, right? Well, this is for that person that wants that high-end laptop, uh, but obviously they want it to have like a slim, profile, something that they can take around with them with no problem. 14 inches, that sweet spot for having like a nice big screen, but also keeping it really portable. This is something that is going to be nice to take around depending on what your work situation is like. So whether you're working at home and you just want a nice solid laptop with really nice speakers that you can play as loudly as you need to, or if you need to take this thing into the office, trekking around with this thing is not going to be an issue. You can take this thing out in public and it just looks like a clean laptop that gets the job done. So it has the power. I feel like it has the portability as well as the looks, not to mention the price. So we've got some really good pricing considering the performance overall footprint. Would you say this is no, this is not a gaming device. Uh -huh. Definitely not. You could get away. It's got integrated graphics, so you could do some gaming if you wanted to, but I wouldn't expect any crazy settings or anything. Probably some really light gaming. But this is definitely more so geared for productivity and getting work done. But that about wraps it up, guys. This is the HP Dragonfly Pro. Absolutely a contender for the Dell XPS, maybe even the MacBook if you don't have a strong OS preference. This is gonna be really solid, especially considering the price point. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'll of course have it linked in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. What do you guys think of this set? It's the first time doing this here. I love it. Jay likes it. I like it too.